Welcome. What you're about to watch is a video from my Obsidian course, uh, Getting Started with Obsidian, which you can get on Skillshare or you can get by joining the membership on my site, curtismichael.ca slash membership. We talk about syncing your files, what I think is the best and some of the advantages or disadvantages of various options. Buckle up. In this video, we're going to take a look at file syncing and what I think you should do. Now, ultimately, Obsidian is just a folder of files. There's nothing else. It's just files on your computer. So you can sync it with anything you want. You can use iCloud, which I've used, and it worked quite well. You can use Dropbox, you can use Box.com, any service basically that syncs your files back and forth. All you have to do is point Obsidian at that folder and you have a sync system. Now, there are some issues in some of them. Some of them are not fully end-to-end -end encrypted. Some of them are end-to-end -end encrypted when it like transfers along, but when it's on their servers, it's not really encrypted. iCloud is like that. It is encrypted as it transfers, but even on your computer, it's not encrypted over there. It is questionable if it's encrypted or if they can give the keys out. You can definitely, with um, iOS backups, uh, have your data taken that way. And your data is actually on your iPhone. So that's another thing to think about when you sync your devices. But what I think really is the best option is Obsidian Sync. So when we look at Obsidian Sync, and let's actually look at my vault so I can show you all the settings here. When we look at Obsidian Sync, we can go into settings down at the bottom. I can choose which vault I want to pick with, so I can have multiple remote vaults. Uh, I can choose the status of my sync. I can pause it if I really want. I can choose what I want to do with deleted files. It keeps a file history as well. Uh, it'll show me the sync activity if it wants. And then here's where I think a lot of the real power comes from, is that you can sync images if you want. Uh, you can sync audio. You can sync videos, sync PDFs. So all, basically all the file types, just like some of the other ones, but you can be selective about it with Obsidian. And then you can decide what you want to sync for settings. So I can sync my main settings. Well, I actually turned this off early in the course, so a bunch of these things haven't been syncing. Sync my appearance. Sync themes and snippets. I want that. Sync my hotkeys. I want my hotkeys synced. Think, sync my active and core plugin list. Yep. So I can sync my plugin settings back and forth between everything. And that's where I think a lot of the power comes from in the Obsidian Sync. It means that you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can simply use the app and your settings are going to sync back and forth. Um, it works really well with the exception that I talked about in the daily notes video where sometimes it's not fast enough. You open up your daily note in your other device and it hasn't synced those across yet. And this happens with iCloud as well with any sync service I've tried. And then your template fills itself out and you have a conflict because it fills itself out and you have extra data in there as well. That's the only thing I found every sync service doesn't do. The other nice thing about Obsidian um, is that it's fully end-to-end -end encrypted. You provide the key. So I have talked to the developers about this, and they said they don't have an audit on it, but they said they use AES-256 encrypt encryption, which is good encryption. Um, and ultimately, you have to trust someone at some point. So I trust the Obsidian developers, and I use Obsidian Sync. I pay the $5 a month to use it because it is just an excellent option especially because it syncs all of your settings, which a lot of people don't know. So my recommendation is just to pay for Obsidian Sync. If that feels like a little bit too much for you, then by all means use iCloud, use whatever file sync service you use, and all you have to do is point your Obsidian vaults at different devices to the folder that you're syncing. That's it, it will work. In our next video, we're gonna look a little bit at the Obsidian keyboard commands, how you set them, and just what you can set them up to be.